please be sure to subscribe to the channel to update the fastest and most accurate news. Hello everyone, welcome back to my High Celebrities News Channel, the story for today is Varial McDoom says she would change everything about her wedding to Amir Khan if she could go back in time. The television personality, 30, married boxer Amir, 35, in 2013 in a lavish ceremony in New York in front of 400 people at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in Manhattan, with the couple's big day reportedly costing $1 million. However, Farial admits she would do things very differently today, admitting shared like a smaller ceremony to renew her vows to the sportsman on the 10th anniversary next year. Speaking on the couple's reality show Meet the Khans Big in Bolton on Thursday night, Farial said, I wish I could change everything about my wedding. It changed the way I dress because I'm more in fashion now and I'm definitely more confident to be who I am and be in front of the camera all the time. When asked if she'd renew her vows, she said, maybe on my 10th anniversary, which is, in another year. I think I would just do a beach wedding with a hundred people you know rather than 4,000 people that you barely even know, and really enjoy it. Farial and Amir had a second bash in Amir's native Britain in his hometown of Bolton a week after they got married in the US in 2013. They invited a reported 4,000 people to the occasion, taking to Twitter following the ceremony in the Big Apple, Farial wrote, Mrs. Khan, last night was like a dream, truly amazing, thanks to everyone that participated, really meant a lot x now ready for the UK wedding. Following their engagement in January 2012, they held a star-studded engagement party for 1,000 people at the Reebok Stadium in Bolton. Elsewhere on their show, Farial dismissed online criticism of her jet-setting lifestyle with Amir after she was accused of abandoning their three children. The TV personality raises young daughters Lamisa, 8, Elena, 4, and son Mohammed, 2, with the Bolton-based boxer, but has been repeatedly accused of overlooking her parental responsibilities while traveling the world. However she insists the criticism leveled at her on social media, where she keeps followers regularly updated on her movements, is unjustified because she is a working mother. Discussing the issue during Thursday evening's edition of Meet the Khans, Big in Bolton, Farial, 30, described herself as a constant presence in her children's lives, but admitted she was juggling parenthood with a professional career. She said, I enjoy being a full-time mum, at the same time I also work, so, I'm not as hands-on as other mothers are. There's a lot of pressure, like on social media, with people saying why aren't you with your kids, and why are you traveling? It's a bit unfair because you are more than just a mum. Farial's appearance has also been targeted online, promoting her to hit back after receiving a barrage of abuse in September. The TV personality had shared a photo of herself in a glamorous black outfit, but was left upset after being inundated with cruel comments from trolls referring to her derogatory terms. She wrote, uploaded a simple pic on my Instagram and the non-stop vicious comments have started. Like PS off, leave me the fk alone. Jog on with your sad life and stop obsessing over mine. The energy you waste giving someone hate, putting them down, using words like transgender, st, b asterisk h. Haven't your parents raised you well with that potty mouth? The worst bit is that it's the men that are the worst. Lol, sick, Farial also hit back in the comments after one follower wrote, I don't understand why she posts pictures on Instagram that are so revealing if she knows she will get hate for them. Doesn't that impact her mental health? People have become so obsessed with Instagram and validation at the expense of their mental health. Very sad, but the model vented, I should be able to post whatever I'd like to post. My style, my Instagram, my choice, if someone doesn't like it they don't need to follow me. It's just as simple. Farial and Amir were left shaken after being robbed at gunpoint in London, with the boxer later revealing how he feared he was going to die during the incident. Speaking exclusively to Mail Online, he said, It was dark, this masked man came up to me and at first, I thought it was a friend playing a practical joke. But then he pulls out a gun and shoves it right at my face and I thought, this is the end, I'm going to die. I was in genuine fear for my life and the main thing that I was thinking about was my wife and kids. 
I thought I might never see them again. The former world champion also claimed that he is aware of the identity of the person who he believes orchestrated the robbery and has informed the police. Amir's comments come after his wife today posted CCTV images of the two hooded men who stole the diamond-encrusted watch. In an Instagram post, Farail shared a video of two men getting out of a Mercedes before making a beeline towards her and her husband. Moments later the pair robbed the boxer of his £72,000 watch before running off, Amir revealed that he considered hitting his attacker and trying to disarm him but the thought of Farail, who was standing a few steps back, and their three children prevented him from taking any action. He said, I could have easily hit him, and I did think about it for a brief moment. But then I knew Farail was with me, and he could have killed her, never mind me, it was all over very quickly. The attacker just shouted, give me your watch, I tried to remain calm, didnt speak to him and just slipped it off my wrist and handed it over. As his voice trembled with anger, he added, this whole thing has left me and Farail very shaken up and scared. You don't expect to be robbed at gunpoint, not in London, that's the kind of thing that happens in the US but not in England. I'm lucky to be alive and once the robbers fled, I just wanted to hug my wife and kids. The thought of my family stopped me from taking them on because if I had, I could be dead now. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update. Thank you for watching.